To design a wind farm, double click on the Wind Pro icon. Click on the Create New Project with Wizard. Choose the place you want to save the project. Name it. Now choose the location of the wind farm, which can be found from the map or by inserting the longitude and latitude of the place that can be found through the Google Earth. I choose location in Iran, longitude 53, latitude 33. Let the coordinate remain GO degree and the datum WGS84. From the background map tab, double click on online map and choose black or white and can you can choose the dimension of the area that you want. Uncheck all except elevation data here. Click uh, OK. Uh, on the layer name, click and change it to the base layer. It's optional. Now uh, click on the turban icon uh, on the middle right side of the page. Uh, you can choose the turbine based on the manufacture or by the sorted power and uh, then click OK insert as many turbines as you want now click on the calculation modules tab in the middle of the page to calculate the noise shadow and zvi of the turbines click on the decibel just uh, check the noise map and uncheck the others in the main tab the noise calculation model should be selected uh, we choose the ISO for the United Kingdom then choose edit model parameters and change the ground factor to zero on the noise map tab just uh, check the 10 meter per second for the wind speed and then click OK to start the calculation You can get the report by right click on the main result or map or the decibel and choose print or save as or preview. now double click on shadow just check the flicker map and uncheck the others on the flicker map tab you can write the distance in kilometer on the four boxes or select area on the map zoom the map to see the pointed rectangular and drag the points to choose the area Click OK to start the calculation. You can get the report same as described before. Double click on the ZVI. On the ZVI tab, select the area on the map same as explained before. 
and do not change the other parameters. Uh, on the main tab, you can choose name for the file. Then click OK to start the calculation. After calculation is done, getting report is same as explained before. Now go back to the object tab in the middle left side of the page. Right click on the object layer. Add layer, name, win data. Check the site center and turbines to be shown in this on this layer. Select the meteor object and insert it near the site center on the map. Click go online. Select all and click to check the coverage. Choose the nearest station to the site center. Write the year you want to have data from and uncheck the auto move objects. Click OK. Now check the rose view on the graphic tab to see if it is normal. On the shear tab, choose add shear from Weibull and click OK. Now add another layer, name it contours. Check the site center and turbines to be shown on this layer. Select line data to insert on the map near the site center. Choose the height as the purpose. Click on the online data. Choose the area dimension, for example, 30,000 meters and click OK. Add another na layer, name roughness, and check the site center and the turbines to be shown on this layer. Then uncheck other layers to clean the map. Insert another line data to the site center. With the purpose of roughness, click to get online data, click next, and choose the area dimension, for example 30,000 meters and click OK. You can see all the inserted objects on the active layers here.
Now click to insert site data icon on the bottom left side of the page. Insert on the site center on the map. Check the stop again as the purpose. And on the train tab, check the both line objects and click OK. Now click on calculation. Module tab in the middle and choose the start gain calculation. Name it a start gain. On the start gain tab, choose the all, choose all to have all meet your data. Click OK and calculate. You can get the data as in the report as explained before. Now click to insert another site data icon on the bottom left side of the page. Insert it on the site center of the map. And now check the VASP as a purpose. And on the Wind Statistics tab, click the green button to choose the search path tab button at the bottom of the page and browse the Wind Statistic data then click OK. On the train tab, check both line objects. And click OK. Now go to the calculation tab. and select Park Calculation. Choose Standard uh, Park with VASP and name the file. And leave other tabs with the default parameters. Click OK and Calculate. You can get the report, same as explained before.